All right, T, ready to build? Wait, you're not Titan. Kenobi, Danny, yay! <laughs> hey friends, it's Sam from DIY Huntress, and I am clearly not on Long Island anymore. Instead, I am in Canada visiting DIY Danny! I'm so excited that oh, you're wait. here. I'm so excited to be here. I feel like the studio was a dead giveaway. If you know, you know. It wasn't the studio, I'm telling you, it was the camera quality. It's so much better <laughs> than what I usually put out on YouTube. <laughs> This makes me feel like I grew a solid foot when I crossed the border. <laughs> we framed for Sam. <laughs> oh, yeah. You um, stand us. We're good. Now we're the same height. This is perfect. Movie magic, uh. right? I'm in Canada for the weekend, and Danny has been working on a lot of outdoor projects in her adorable house. So if you have not checked out Danny's home projects, go check out her channel because her house is amazing and I'm probably never leaving. Like, let's be real. I think I'm just gonna move in right here. She's not gonna be able to get rid of me. You can move right under the table. Actually, I have a whole hidden room you can be in. Actually, I think your studio might be bigger than my current apartment, so this is great. It's an upgrade. <laughs> but so Danny's working on outdoor projects yeah. and we have two days to try to make two projects come to life. Two days, mm -hmm. two videos, two projects, one day for each, buddy builds. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> roll, roll the DIY Hunters logo up. Let's go. Yep. You know what? Let's get started. Oh yeah, let me do it. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get started. Mm. Boop. Huge shout out to my friends at Dat Products for sponsoring this buddy build. Backyard buddy build. Backyard buddy build. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> And welcome to the Sam and Danny show. This video is gonna be a fun one. But for real, when Danny told me that she was working on some stuff for her outdoor space and that she wanted to build a table, I was like, I am getting on a plane and I am flying to you. And that is exactly what I did for a weekend. And we built a table for her backyard in one day. I really mean it, we did it in a day. Wow, great job. <laughs> So before Danny and I even started using any tools, we actually decided to use our brains, I guess our brains are technically a tool, to come up with a design for the outdoor dining table for her backyard. But don't you worry, I will make this much easier for anybody who wants to build this on their own. You can find plans for this entire build on my website by clicking on the link below this video so that you don't have to do mental math on the spot like me. So if we just gotta do her teams, math on her uh, on her phone. <laughs> Unlike me, just comes up what? from here. Just, I don't need a calculator. Uh, this if we do just, seven and a quarter, yeah. Bang. One day build. One day build. I feel like this is like when my dad gets left alone with the camera and doesn't know what to do with himself. Okay, choose your poison bad drill I feel or like, drive. I feel like we should draw straws because no one's gonna want to drill. <laughs> <laughs> You want to drill, right? <laughs> right? Here We're you. drawing straws. Hold this. <laughs> so if you pull the short one, if you pull the short straw, you have to drill. Danny, they better not both be short. If you pull the short straw, you <laughs> drill. If you pull the long straw, you don't drill. Okay. Ready? I'm scared. <laughs> yeah! with you like halfway through. We're good, we're good. We'll do it. Well, we still need, I guess we still need to pull the short straw. I guess it makes sense I pulled the short straw because I'm short, right? So like. <laughs> so even though I pulled the short straw, this is a buddy build. So we worked together to drill pocket holes in the underside of the boards that we were going to use for our tabletop. Legitimately though, this part of the project went by so fast with another set of hands. I just want to work with Danny forever. Fastest pocket holes in the east. Certainly in the north. <laughs> Once those pocket holes were drilled though, it was time to then assemble the tabletop using exterior grade pocket hole screws. And we just worked together to make sure that everything was super flat and super flush. One down. <laughs> So 
after cracking ourselves up and building a tabletop, it was time to then focus on building the base of the table, which we did using matching two by cedar boards. Danny cut the boards, I marked the measurements, and then we brought everything on over to that tabletop and assembled the base, which was nice and chunky and like modern, but still kind of farmhouse looking. It just looked really cute. You're looking real good, real good. <laughs> <laughs> So once the top and the base were looking pretty darn sexy, if we must say so ourselves, it was then time to add some supports to the bottom of the table to prevent it from sagging over time and to give some more structural integrity to that base. We then attached the base to the tabletop using some L-shaped outdoor brackets that we installed throughout the entire base and tabletop. And then it was time for a musical interlude. My brackets don't wiggle wiggle, they hold. I like the way you dribble dribble, full show. She's driving with my drill. You know how it feels. You know how it feels. We got something there. <laughs> Grammy, please. Woo! We got a table. Oh, we get to flip it now. Well, that's a flipping great idea. <laughs> Once that table was flipped on over, it was time to focus on the decorative and structural elements of the base. Danny really wanted this modern, farmhousey, cute, chunky base for her table, so that's exactly what we made come to life. And just like the rest of the table, we cut all of these pieces from 2 by cedar boards and attached them to the table using pocket hole joinery. It really is so amazing how quickly a build comes together when it is a buddy build and when you have multiple sets of hands working on the same project. We really were crushing it on the time frame for this project throughout the entire thing. It is 2.35. This thing is we so crooked. We started at 11. I don't even care it's crooked because we started at 11 and it's 2.35 and we have a table. We have a whole table in like, okay, so it started at 11, 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, so three and a half hours. Is it snack time? I think it's let's go get some feet and then get snacks. Snack time! Let's go! Let's go. We earned ourselves a snack! So after a quick snack break, it was a back to the build and next step was to add some rubber bumpers to the bottom of this table and we did that using DAP's Tank Bond Thread Stopper. This is a compound that goes onto bolts and then holds those bolts tightly in place. It creates a tight seal that absorbs shock and vibrations and prevents the fasteners from backing out of the wood, which is really helpful because when you're using cedar, it's a soft wood and that can happen pretty easily. And the reason we actually added these bumpers was to give the table a little lift off the ground so that it doesn't absorb any water that may pool on Danny's deck. Once those bumpers were installed though, it was then time to start closing up all of those pocket hole openings and we decided to go a little fancy here and use some wood dowels and Daps Weldwood Instant Wood Adhesive, which is really awesome because it sets up super fast, which means that it was ready for us to cut down and sand and also stain really, really quickly which is great for a one day buddy build. We also filled in whatever extra gaps were left over with Daps Plastic Wood X, which you know that I love because it goes on pink and then dries to a natural wood finish so you know when it's ready to sand. And we just continued this exact process for every little opening and every little pocket hole opening that was all over the table to give it some cute little decorative accents. Once that was done though, we then flipped this bad boy over, it was so heavy, and then trimmed it down to its final size to give it a nice and clean and flush look on the ends.
If you couldn't tell by our happy dance, we were super happy with the way that this table was looking, but it was at this point that we decided to fill in some of those deeper knots in the top of the table using DAP's Tank Bond Clear Epoxy. This is a really fast setting two part epoxy that drives clear in about five minutes, which again is great for a one day buddy build. And since this epoxy has a high bonding strength, it is a great epoxy for durable repairs, such as all of these little knots. Once everything was filled and the table had gotten its final sanding, Danny and I then moved on to the final part of this buddy build, which was staining it in this gorgeous cedar color. And oh, this table is delicious. Legitimately, even though we actually built this thing in a day, I still can't believe that we actually built this thing in one day. We did it! <laughs> I think, like, honestly, we finished this table in like what eight hours? Uh, uh, on under eight hours. Under eight no hours. No one's gonna believe us. No I know. One's, no one's gonna believe us. I feel us. like you guys aren't gonna believe us, but we genuinely were able to build this under eight hours. It looks so freaking good. Oh my god, I can't wait to put this on my back deck and like you just like get the chairs in and get and just like see it in its full glory. I know. Are see. you ready? Like should we just like obviously we gotta let this dry, but yeah. like we gotta well, we gotta get this in the gonna, backyard. Yeah, we're gonna do some movie magic. Like that's just we're gonna do some movie magic and then we're gonna cut to what this looks like in the backyard because <laughs> yeah, that's just what we do. Looks so good. It looks so Thank good. Thank you I'm for so helping me make this. Excited. And now tomorrow we're doing another build. We're doing another build tomorrow, on so my you, channel. you're gonna have to head on over to Danny's channel to see the second one day build that we, oh, I can't believe we're literally building like two. We could have a whole backyard <laughs> furniture like line in literally a week. But like actually, we're literally building two pieces of legit furniture in two days. I'm impressed. I am thoroughly impressed with us. I, I am too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we like, still had general shenanigans and still finished this thing on time. It's true. And we went to Home Depot shenanigans. today. We went and got snacks, and we still were able to pump this out. And we only went through like two copies each, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Crushed it. Crushed it. All right, so we're gonna cut to what this thing looks like in the backyard, which is gonna be, spoiler alert, amazing. And yeah. then you're gonna head on over to Danny's channel and check out the second one day build. Let's go, yeah. let's, let's go, go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's go to the backyard. Okay, but like actually, see you there. Do your slap, do your slap. See you soon! Friends, can you believe we built this gorgeous outdoor dining table in one day? It is seriously so amazing what kind of magic can happen when you are working on a build with a buddy. Danny and I had so much fun working on this build and also like hanging out at the table after we built this thing and just getting together and making some magic happen in her little workshop. Why did we make this table so big? You're so far away. Are you enjoying your drink? I'd enjoy it better if I was sitting closer to you. Oh, this <laughs> giant bouquet's in the way. <laughs> Danny. Yeah. This is like further away right now than I actually live from you. <laughs> I don't think we made this table big enough. <laughs> we should have made it at least eight feet longer. A true harvest table. I say it's a slap the table. Good project. Slap the table. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> There is something super special about meeting people in life who totally get you and are on the same wavelength as you and want to build cool things with you. And I am just so grateful for Danny in my life. I had so much fun hanging out with her and building with her. I did not want to go home, like legitimately did not want to leave. We really hope that this project inspired you to grab a buddy and go out there and build something. And if it did, we also hope that it inspired you to possibly check out the new t-shirt that Danny and I made together called our Buddy Build t-shirt. Sort of like a pseudo best friend heart that you'd split with someone where someone gets best, the other person gets friend. But this time one person will get a buddy and one person will get a build. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can click on the link below this video to grab your buddy build shirts to share with a friend and to build with a friend in.
Also, don't forget to hop on over to Danny's channel to check out the other build that we created together in one day. It is absolutely amazing and I know that you are going to love it. In the meantime though, friends, I will be back soon with a new project. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today on my channel and on Danny's channel. We absolutely love you. You're all super awesome. We'll see you soon. Happy DIYing. Oh,